which is a smart t-shirt that's being designed to be shipped up and worn by an astronaut in space and to measure their vital signs. So this is an ISS astronaut, International Space System. His name's Matthias Maurer, and he's from Germany, and he's going up to the ISS at the end of October, so in a few weeks, on SpaceX Crew Dragon flight, and he's partnering with researchers from the German Aerospace Center to measure how his heart's doing while he's in space. So did, did uh, SpaceX make the T-shirt? No, Space S didn't, SpaceX didn't make the T-shirt. The German Aerospace Center did, so Got Germany's okay. keeping it in the family. They're excited about it. <laughs> um, but so what, like, what's the problem they're looking to solve here? It's pretty well documented that muscles degrade when you go to space under microgravity conditions. People also call it zero gravity. Some scientists call it microgravity. Basically, when you're in space and you're floating around, your muscles degrade really, really, really fast. I mean, Fun like, fact, that's the reason I couldn't become an astronaut. They, they were like, yeah, we just can't do it. You know, yeah, we you can't. don't have enough muscle. Yeah, that, that's the reason. That's why you I don't have twenty percent to lose. I can't. I just can't lose like even one percent of it. Yeah, well, so here's the thing: that rule of thumb, twenty percent. Some of the astronauts that went up to the moon, they were there for like eleven days. So think about this: less than two weeks, you lose up to twenty percent of all the muscle mass in your body Jeez. in less than two weeks. That's worse than being on bed rest because you're not in any gravity at that's all. That's what I was going to say. You can't even walk, right? Like once you come back down, I, I think like they had old footage of rolling out the astronauts on wheelchairs, right? Yeah. They, they had trouble walking because they lost 20% of their muscle. Now when astronauts go up, they do a bunch of exercise and stuff. They've got a machines to like help, help try and preserve your muscle. But Makes the interesting sense. part, your heart is a muscle too. And it's pretty hard to like go lift weights with your heart. <laughs> it's also pretty hard to measure how it performs under space conditions. So think about right. if all the rest of your muscles degrade 20 percent does your heart also come back 20 percent weaker that's scary because it's like you know the main frame of your body is runs through the heart so the heart not requires- lifting because your muscle goes down is one thing not being able to like pump blood throughout your body that's yeah that's that's critical yeah so the heart often requires constant monitoring if you're going to study what it's doing but like that requires being hooked up to a bunch of wires and machines and stuff. That's kind of infeasible for an astronaut to do while they're in space. I mean, imagine like floating around the space station yeah. and like you've got a bunch of wires hanging off you to monitor your heart. Um, and it's also like probably not that comfortable and you might get tangled or I don't know. I wouldn't like <laughs> floating around with you in space for a boat if you had like a tether of wires just attached to you all the time. I'd, that sounds I'd incredibly annoying. Yeah. Imagine like trying to like, I don't know, cook space food and you got all these like things attached to you yeah that sounds you awful. probably can't like astronauts they don't just go up to space and chill they have a job and that job's like doing a bunch of experiments and stuff like that so they probably wouldn't be able to do this with all this extra wires attached so the enter the solution they need something convenient comfortable flexible and wireless the solution is this shirt called smart text designed by the german aerospace center it's literally just a t-shirt that you can take it on or put it on take it off and it's got a bunch of sensors embedded in it it okay. also has a wireless communicator uh embedded in it as well so you don't have to be hooked up to these machines all the time you can wirelessly communicate with them and all this shirt t-shirt and all the sensors in there is trying to measure are is something called ballistocardiography and if we break it down like ballistics that's forces um and cardio that's your heart and graphy that's like measuring it so what they're trying to do is measure the forces inside of your heart so like the strength of how hard your heart compresses um how much force it's generating to suck blood in and pump blood out they're just trying to measure the health of the heart it's like uh, asking you to see how much you can bicep curl but Mm -hmm. for the heart so like they're measuring how strong it is because you remember we don't want to see the heart get very weak so they're measuring how strong the heart is before mauer goes up into space during his entire time in space and then after to look at his heart's health and his heart's okay. strength throughout the whole process. Now, so are, are they ha- asking him to not exercise while he's in space just to see how space naturally degrades his muscles or is he keeping the same workout routine? No, in I think space? They, they definitely have to exercise. Okay. Um, that's like, he, he's not going to be up there for just 11 days. He's going to be up there for a bunch of weeks up in the ISS. Shoot. So okay. It's, not good for his health for him to just sit there and atrophy in space. Um, And he's also got other stuff to do and he wants to come back and be able to live life. So I think he's going to live in life, live, live his life exactly like he would as an astronaut, but they just have no idea to quantify how the heart is doing before, during and after without this shirt. So they're going to do this for the first time. 
And it's the first time that they can do it wirelessly, completely wirelessly, because of this other project that's coming up at a similar time frame. I think they said it'll be live around like November, December time frame on the International Space Station. That's not too long ago. It's called WICO 2. And what that stands okay. for is a wireless communication version 2. And so the version 1 is up there. It's not great, but version 2 is going to come up and it's going to allow... It's got five different transponders they're going to install around the International Space Station and allow the you know, home base down on the floor on Earth to locate where any astronaut is anywhere inside the ISS within a 10 centimeter accuracy. So Interesting. Pretty convoluted. There's a lot of different modules and stuff. They can tell exactly where everyone is at every single given time. What's great about it is it also has like communication speeds between wherever the astronauts are, whatever they're wearing, and all these other sensors and stuff for all these experiments. It has communication speeds between that and you know the main satellite communication down to Earth. Right. It has speeds of like 50 megabits per second, which is faster than my That's inter- internet impressive. connection right here in-house. <laughs> so they've got faster wireless connection for this guy wearing his shirt. It's um, essentially, it's like a wireless communication, a Wi-Fi gateway yeah, so that you wh- would have in your house. You have it in the station, and not only does it transmit data, it can also pick up devices that astronauts are wearing, yeah, right? So This is like pretty in line because like in, in the IoT sector, you see a lot of this. But what's fascinating to me is that the ISS is a metal box and it's still able to do this. Yeah, so that that's is really cool. That's why they need all those little modules. They're basically just like Wi-Fi repeaters, I imagine. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you work in IoT. Basically what they did is they turned the ISS into a smart home. And this uh, wireless T-shirt is just one of the sensors connected to the smart home. So they're probably going to be able to do a lot of other stuff with this as well. That That's the epitome of a smart home, really. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's the freaking Imagine diet. all the, yeah, everyone there is like an... Ast- uh, astronaut and engineer and everyone that designed it yeah that is the smart home I, I gotta be honest with you man it's kind of crazy to me that this is coming because of like a space experiment and not like under armor or nike i i feel like i would use a shirt like this honestly yeah well that's what i was gonna say like it's important for them to study for this on the moon when we go to mars like you're gonna be up there for a long time you want to understand this data you know how does the heart do but it's also, it's not just for outer space. There are engineers making very similar products for us to use here on Earth. That makes me, re, re, me really excited. Um, one startup that comes to mind, I think of, they make like washable smart shirts for activity monitoring during endurance events. So like when you're running a long distance or biking a long distance. Um, my girlfriend Nellie and I biked 100 miles last summer. It would have been really cool to wear this smart Which shirt. Which insane. It's like... You know, it feels loose and free. You don't feel constricted by it at all, but it's also tracking how your heart's doing and measuring how many calories you're burning and stuff like that. That's pretty yeah. sick. And dude, it's it's like a pretty good replacement for wearables too. Like I don't have an Apple Watch. I don't really want to drop like what, $400 for an Apple Watch, but I would splurge for a shirt like this. It I, makes total sense. I'm telling you, I have an Apple Watch and it's sometimes a little inconvenient, uncomfortable <laughs> to wear during a workout. I mean, think about it, like you're wearing a watch, you start sweating. Um, it's like kind of tight around your wrist if your blood flow starts to increase i mean for me t-shirt over apple watch every single day for activity monitoring it makes total sense